Imagine building a fully on-chain app without writing a single line of code. No IDE, no GitHub, no team of devs, just a sentence. Sounds impossible. Not anymore. Welcome to Ledger Live. Today we are talking about Caffeine AI, a brand new tool that's letting builders spin up vaults, games, dashboards, even face tracking AR apps using just natural language prompts. In this video, I'll walk you through some of the most mind-blowing projects built using Caffeine AI. And stick around because once I get my invite card, I'll be building an app for Ledger Life itself and sharing the full builds here on the channel. Now, let's get in. Developers and builders working with the Internet Computer Protocol are starting to adopt Caffeine AI to build applications at speed using plain language prompts rather than traditional code. From Web3 data vaults to real-time card games, financial dashboards, and mini game platforms, early users are discovering how much they can create with relatively little effort, provided they are comfortable testing, tweaking, and working with tools that are still evolving. Caffeine AI is designed to turn written instructions into working apps directly deployable on ICP. The tool interprets prompts and assembles functional code bases that live fully on-chain. For some, this lowers the barrier to entry. For others, it's a way to quickly prototype or build tools that would otherwise require teams of developers. Several early users have shared their projects publicly, and the range of outputs has been surprisingly broad. Among the more well-publicized launches is Enclave X, created by the team at NextBlock. It's a Web3 vault for storing passwords, seed phrases, and other sensitive data securely on-chain. Enclave X runs on the ICP network, taking advantage of its decentralized infrastructure to deliver a fast and private experience while removing the need for cloud storage or third-party key management. The developers built the vault using Caffeine AI's natural language interface and are now seeking feedback from the broader community as they continue to improve its features. ICP Hub Egypt has showcased rapid AI-driven development with two projects. First, they built an AI-generated card battle game where Caffeine AI handled everything from logic to deployment, keeping track of gameplay and memory without needing constant input. The AI was the lead, producing a working game from a sentence-long prompt. The team sponsored the project enthusiastically. Additionally, in just three prompts and three minutes, they developed a basic 3D first-person shooter game, fully on-chain on ICP. This no-code, no-engine game highlighted the efficiency and creativity possible with modern AI-driven development tools on the Internet Computer Blockchain. Individual builders have also weighed in with their experiences. Marcus set out to build a couple of simple games and ended up with a functional mini-game platform that includes wallet integration. He worked on it from a phone while commuting by train and said the whole thing came together in around two hours. There were no code editors, no terminals, just a conversation with an AI and a live deployment on ICP. Marcus also experimented further, building a personal data storage solution on ICP with just one design and one functional prompt. He is sharing the evolution of this project publicly and has plans for its future development. Another developer, Fabio, decided to test how fast he could build a basic financial dashboard. Using Token Terminal's API and feeding prompts into Caffeine AI, he created a functioning fear and greed index app in under 15 minutes. He admits the version is early and lacking full data integration, but the code logic is there and any initial bugs were handled through follow-up prompts. He plans to continue iterating on it and he released a video walkthrough of the build. You can check out the link in the description of his YouTube video. Scott took a different route, creating fairmarketcap.com, a project intended to shine a light on misleading trading activities such as wash trading. Built with the help of Caffeine AI, the site presents data visualizations that aim to tell a more transparent story than some of the more established ranking platforms. It positions ICB within broader market comparisons, while also pointing out where others may manipulate volume or market cap visibility. 
Josh Drake, part of the Divinity team, wanted to see how easily existing templates could be repurposed. He chose a jewelry app from the Caffeine AI marketplace and rebuilt it into a point of sale system for a local coffee shop, all with two prompts. He used it to demonstrate how quickly app logic and front end frameworks could be reoriented without touching the original code. Then there is Dance, who built a social tool for saving, organizing, and sharing prompt content. The app Caffeine Companion is already live for testing and allows users to create a profile, save their favorite prompts, and see what others are generating. It's a small project, but serves as a useful example of how AI development is starting to intersect with community features and collaborative workflows. Dexter built Chess Arena, while Westcliff Technologies developed a face tracking plus AR app in just three prompts and less than five minutes. Setting up face tracking using TensorFlow models is far from trivial. Getting reliable face tracking to work, especially with objects that follow facial movements in real time, usually requires significant effort coding. Caffeine AI made it look easy. Trevor Knight developed Luna Link and Luna Drop, a peer-to-peer -peer ICP wallet that enables offline transaction sharing through generated payloads. These can be transmitted via BLE mesh, SMS, or radio. As a bonus, the app doubles as a way to geolocate family or friends in emergencies. And speaking of rapid builds, DGNX has launched a new dApp called Pantamonium, built using Caffeine AI. It's a lightweight tool that lets fun AI miner holders monitor their canister health in real time. Just log in with internet identity, enter your miner addresses, and instantly see what's running idle or down. No coding, no wallet extensions. Built fully on-chain on ICP, Pantamonium is fast, functional, and fits the quirky fun AI vibe while solving a real problem. And yep, it was built with natural language prompts through Caffeine AI. It's free to use for now, and there is already community interest in how tools like this might evolve when pricing models come into play. All of these examples show a willingness among early users to experiment, to build fast, and to share their work openly. The apps vary in scope and polish, but the speed at which they were made is one of the key talking points. Whether it's a game, a vault, a dashboard, or a utility tool, many were created in a match of minutes or hours, not days or weeks. That said, there are open questions around what parts of the system are decentralized and which still rely on off-chain components. While the final applications run on-chain using ICP canisters, the AI that interprets the user's prompts is currently hosted off-chain. This has prompted discussion among some users who are more deeply invested in decentralization principles. The ideal scenario for some would be a version of Caffeine AI where the entire process, from model inference to deployment, lives on-chain. But technical limitations make this a difficult target for now, and most users seem more focused on output and usability than on architectural purism. There are also technical constraints to consider. Memory limits, data handling, and scalability challenges come with the territory of building fully decentralized apps. These aren't unique to Caffeine AI or ICP, but they do influence how far users can go with their projects today. Performance can vary depending on the complexity of the prompt and the level of follow-up required. Some users have reported needing multiple iterations to fix logic errors or fill in missing pieces, while others say their builds worked on the first try. Despite those variables, the overall tone from early users is one of curiosity rather than frustration. Most appear to be approaching the tool with a mindset of exploration rather than production. They are aware they are working with the product in early development. But the ability to go from concept to live application so quickly is proving useful, especially for testing ideas, validating assumptions, or just learning what's possible. 
The long-term potential of tools like Caffeine AI depends on how well they integrate with developer workflows and how much control they give to users who eventually want to go beyond fast builds into full customization. If it can scale, remain stable and add depth over time, it may continue attracting interest from across the Web3 space. For now, it's clear that users are finding it useful not because it replaces developers, but because it changes how projects get started. A vault, a game, a dashboard, even a coffee shop app, these are practical. Working examples of what can be built with natural language and a few well-formed prompts. Whether Caffeine AI becomes part of the everyday toolkit for Web3 builders or remains a niche tool for rapid prototyping will depend on how it evolves. But the early results are showing what happens when you give creators access to powerful infrastructure without asking them to write code first. If you enjoy content like this and want to support truly independent coverage of the internet computer, please consider donating to Ledger Life. We are not backed by sponsors. We rely on readers and viewers like you. You can find all the donation options, ICP, Bitcoin, and more in the video description below. And if you are curious to explore the apps built by these amazing creators, I have linked to each one in the description as well. Thanks for watching and see you soon with a caffeine powered build of our own. Until next time, stay curious, stay decentralized. This is Ledger Life.